Hello viewers. In this series of designing your first interactive report using Power BI and Oracle Database as data source, we are going to learn how to add additional tabs or pages to your report, how to add additional queries to extract a new set of data, how to do conditional formatting of data, and how to represent the data with icons. Before I start today's session, I would like to request you to go through the first two sessions, the first two parts in this series, so you have a better understanding of today's session. So let's start with the test report that we created earlier. In this report, we have created one table, one interactive filter, and one pie chart with a little formatting on different areas. Now, the first thing that we are going to learn is uh, how to add a tab or an additional page to this report. So to add a page or a tab, all you need to do is to click in this plus icon here. In this area so this plus when you click an additional tab is added secondly we are going to add another query to extract the second set of data to populate this space this second page to add a query that's a second query the procedure is the same there are multiple ways you can do that you can go through this get data option which we used in our initial video of how to get the data from the data source so when you click it gives you the list of different sources from there you can go and you select source of data that you are interested in so in our case, it was an Oracle database. Today, we are going to take a different approach because this I have already explained how to do that. So let's cancel it. We see there is already one query here. This is query one, which we used to design our first page of the report. So to add a query, first let's go to the query editor. In the left hand side of the query editor window, we see our query 1 is there. And we are going to add another query here. We right click, new query, and we can use recent sources because in this list we already have the same data source that we used in our initial report. So we are going to use the same report here. Same, we are going to use the same data source here. Say it was 192.168.1.107, that is the IP address, the port, and the SID of the database. We click this and it will select the data that you already, already selected in your first place in the first report. If you are going to change it, we'll have options to change it. For now, just let's click OK. Now the query 2 is added. Now we want to modify this query as per our requirements. So we have this option here in the top of this section. We get the query here which we can modify and we have 
also some other options here say if you want to open it in a bigger window if your query is much bigger than this single line query you will need a bigger window to edit that query in that case you can simply select this advanced editor option so we'll click there and it appears with a lot of space there to modify your query so in our case we are going to change this query to something else this time I'll explain about the query in a minute first let me write it So this time we are extracting a list of indexes in the database with the number of rows in that index and the B level. B level is the level of the binary tree uh, of that index. So it's a Oracle database level parameter for uh, measuring the fragmentation in an in a index. So you don't have to go deeper into that. It is just for explaining how we are going to manipulate this data, uh, which is being represented in your report. So for now, just understand that this is going to display a list of indexes with their number of rows and the B level. Click done. edit permission run and your first set of data is extracted from the database and displayed here it's still not a report it is just a display Now I limited the number of rows returned by this query to 20 so that uh, we don't have to handle a large amount of data because our purpose here is to learn how to add an additional query to the report and the data being extracted by that query will be displayed in the second tab of the report and how we are going to put conditional formatting and represent the data in a uh, in terms, of some, some, in terms of some pictures or icons. So for now, we have our data to do the stuff. Let's close it. Yes. So when we apply the changes, the query tool will be appearing here in this section. So first of all, it's uh, refreshing the interface here. Now the query two is displayed. Now what are the columns displayed here? Uh, included here, the B level index name and the number of rows. Here, we'll select a visualization as per our requirement. So that will be a table. The table appears here. We'll put the index name, number of rows, and the B level. So this has only 20 rows here. As we filtered out the others and selected only 20 rows.
as earlier, we'll first remove these decimal places here, which are not needed. Now, how we are going to put some conditional formatting here? So let's select this number of rows. So we see number of rows are different here. This index has 33,000 plus rows. This one 33,000. This is 29,000, 2,000. So let's put some conditions like if it is less than 10,000, then the color will be green. If it is between 10,001 to 20,000, the color will be blue. And if, if it is above 20,000, the color will be, say, green or red. How to add that formatting here? We'll select this table, go to the format. There's a conditional formatting option. Go there. Select the num rows. And you have to select accordingly what you want to change as per the conditions. Say we want to change the background color. So we'll turn it on first. And we'll change our conditions. So click on advanced conditions, advanced controls. It will bring another window here where we have to put our options. So it will be applied, the conditions will be applied to the values only and it will be formatted by the color scale. No, it will be formatted by some rules that we have to put here and it will be applied to the values and it is based on the num rows. By default, it's taking the sum, but it's going to be the same because actually we are not summing up. Now we have to put the actual conditions here. If the value is greater than or equal to zero, and it's not a percentage, it's a number and less than 10,000 then select the color as say blue and add the new rule if the value is get greater than 10,000 number and less than 20,000 number then it will be green new rule if it is sorry if it is 20000 greater than or equal to 20000 number and put some very high value here If you don't put anything here, it's going to take the maximum value automatically. So we don't know what is going to be a maximum value. So we just left it blank. And here we'll select the red color. Okay, so you see now, as per the conditions we put there, the cells 
have changed their background color. So all the cells with less than 10,000 are blue. Between 10,000 to 20,000 it's green and above 20,000 it's red. So this is the conditional formatting. Now the next thing that we wanted to learn is how to represent the data in terms of some icons. Say these values, B level, these are like some small numbers and, and the number of distinct values in this column are not very large in numbers. So we can see only three distinct values, 0, 1 and 2. So in that case, it's easier to represent them. It is easier to represent them uh, with some icons. So let's see how to do that. We'll click this box again. Click on formatting. Go to again conditional formatting. Select the B level. Click on icons and click on advanced control that will be this window where we'll be able to select our required icons the same way we'll select format by rules option here that will be applicable to only the values sum of B level let it be there it's not it's not going to make any difference for our report because anyway we are not summing up the B level then we'll, we have multiple choices here what type of icons we can select some kind of arrows some buttons and also flags and geometrical shapes so for, for our purpose let's uh, take this one cross exclamation and the check mark so whenever the conditions will be whenever the value is zero number it will be a cross mark whenever it is one number it will be a check mark and when the value is 2 it will be say a green up arrow and we can add one more when this is is blank Say we want to put one exclamation mark. And that has changed accordingly. So this is what we have learned today. How to add an additional tab or page to the report. How to create or add an additional query to extract a different set of data. How to put conditional formatting on the data displayed and how to represent your data with some icons.